hello everyone so this is our next video of process control in this video uh, we'll see the tuning methods right one of the tuning methods which is very widely used and popular method uh, which is Ziegler Nichols tuning method basically we need to know what is tuning and what is its significance so here tuning means to predict or not predict actually to determine the particular uh, few values or parameters of a controller by using those values that controller will be able to give some output to a particular process so that that process should give the optimum result to us right so for that purpose tuning is very essential so here the main aim or objective of this experiment is to study the transient and steady state behavior we all know what is transient behavior and what is steady state behavior so the st uh, to study the transient and steady state behavior of a given FOPDT system using Ziegler so FOPDT means first order plus dead time Ziegler Nichols tuning method and choose the best controller mode that means for PID controller which controller configuration that means uh, proportional or proportional integral or proportional integral derivative which controller configuration either P, PI or PID whatever is best for that particular process to give the optimum results we need to determine that for that we are using Ziegler Nichols tuning methods so now <coughs> tuning of controller tuning of controller means as I said the process of experimentation for obtaining the optimum values of the controller parameters with respect to a particular process that means for a process to control that process controller is needed and we need to tune that controller that means tune means we need to uh, uh, obtain the values or determine the values of that controller parameters with respect to our process right this is called controller tuning <coughs> PID tuning means PID is nothing but proportional integral and derivative control. PID tuning is the process of finding the values of proportional integral and derivative gains. That means KP, KI and KD. These three gains of PID controller to achieve desired performance and meet the design requirements. Whatever performance we uh, needed, uh, whatever performance is needed for that we can obtain the controller values using that tuning method right so here <coughs> Ziegler Nichols tuning method what what is Ziegler Nichols tuning method it is the heuristic method of tuning a PID controller it was developed by John G Ziegler and Nathaniel B Nichols it is performed by setting the integral derivative gains to zero that means initially we need to obtain the uh, optim uh, obtain the sustained oscillation right or uniform oscillation for that reason we need to uh, increase very slowly and gradually the value of kp only and the integral and derivative part should be kept zero right and we need to increase kp slowly until it reaches the ultimate gain ku it already we have seen in the previous videos uh, at what kp value it is getting uh, to the ultimate uh, it is getting to the sustained oscillation that value of kp is nothing but ultimate gain that means ku at which the output of the control loop has stable and consistent oscillation that is uniform oscillation ku and the oscillation period tu tu how to calculate we all know already we have seen earlier also uh, and from that ku and tu are used to set the p i and b gains depending upon the type of controller which is used for p for pi and for pid and for pd for all the configurations there is a formula or table in which we need to put the values of kp uh, sorry ku and tu and we will get the uh, kp ki and kd gains right 
so let's see the table this is the table zn tuning table here for kp for p type controller only that means proportional controller i and d are zero kp is 0.5 ku so we need to determine ku and tu we will we'll get these values t pi pd and pid all the configurations so keep in mind we will focus on this value not this this is ti integral time only this is proportional gain this is integral time and this is integral gain getting so we need to uh, after determining these values we need to put on the controller parameters the values of this and this not this one because these are integral time and integral uh, and derivative times right so we need to put the values of gain do not put this these values just put k k and k that means kp ki and kd right this is very important so next you can see this is the sustained oscillation uh, i have determined from the Uh, plant or process whatever you have taken the transformation I have taken a first order system as uh, we are dealing with FOPDT system in this experiment so transformation is 0 0.9 e to the power minus 10 s upon 220 s plus 1 right our tau is 220 our theta is 10 and our k is 0 0.9 right this is the transport delay where we need to put the value of theta as 10 seconds and these are the transformation block where we need to put the k, k value as 0 0.9 and tau s plus 1 that means 220 s plus 1 right and after that <coughs> we have started increasing this uh, kp value by double clicking this uh, block will appear where we need to put the uh, proportional integral and, de uh, integral and derivative gains so where we need to initially put the i and d value at zero and we will increase increase slowly the kp value and at a certain point of time we found the sustained oscillation that kp value is nothing but k so we will see in the matlab file now how the sustained oscillation came and what point we have obtained that sustained oscillation and then we will determine t2 minus t1 that is tu and using these two we will find the controller parameters so let's see the matlab file so uh, this is the matlab simulink file or simulink model for the particular process and we will now see how the tuning method or tuning parameters we have uh, determined or obtained right first of all this is a step input which is mandatory to give as an input signal to the process right final value is one we have kept that means the input is of amplitude one and this is the PID block before that let me show the transport delay part which is 10 and scope is there and the parameters like tau and k you have to put here according to your this transfer function now this is the PID controller block initially in that block i and d I have kept 0 and the proportional gain that means kp i have increased gradually and very slowly so at a value of 39.1111 this is the value at which i have got the uniform oscillation or sustained oscillation you can see right for more accuracy you just check by increasing that run time you can increase the run time as suppose 3000 degree 
uh, 3000 seconds right now double click it you can see whether accurately it is almost uh, uniform oscillation or sustained oscillation right now ku i have got or ku is 39.1111 you need to just determine the value of tu from the this uh, from this oscillation curve either t2 minus t1 you can calculate from this point to this point peak to peak or else from this point to this point that means one complete cycle we all know that after calculating the tu and ku you need to just put these two values in the table tuning table right now this is the uh, this is the um, tuning parameters we need to put in this blocks so this is the model where this part is for p proportional controller so i'll put the parameters for proportional controller into this part and for pi this part and for pd this is uh, sorry pid this part three controller configurations of controller modes i have prepared and a max is there you can easily uh, plot the graph or observe the graph in a single scope all the graphs have been plotted right this i have not connected yet so the proportional and derivative that means p pi and pid pd i have not shown you can try that one also so here by putting the values of ku that means 39.1111 and tu whatever you have got from this uh, sustained oscillation by putting these two values from the table i have got the proportional gain that means kp is 19.55575 so this thing i need to put here as this is a proportional mode only kp is there ki and kd is zero in the table also you have seen that for p mode only kp is there i and d are zero right okay and for pi mode you can see just put those values for pi mode i have got the kp as 17.6001075 and ki as 0.5378156 d is 0 as this is the proportional and integral that means pi pi mode so d is 0 and here for pid mode I've got these three values from that tuning table so I need to just put these three values here so for P, PI and PID all are done now I need to just connect all these uh, outputs into that scope the marks and the marks is connected to the scope right now just run and see the output this is the output for p pi and pid pd mode you need to also uh, check i have not shown here you can try it by your own so this one is proportional you can see the proportional in the proportional mode the overshoot is uh, comparatively less settling time you can calculate peak time rise time also you can calculate for p and pi the initial stage graph is 
almost same but after that peak overshoot is higher in the PI mode and as well as settling time is a little bit larger than the comparatively to the P mode and here in P mode totally error has not minimized that means the desired value or desired output whatever we require from the process it is not achieving exactly that there is a steady state error right but in PI mode it is achieving that set point or uh, reference value whatever is desired it is already settled down to that value but after certain time comparatively it settled a, much, uh, a bit uh, later on right and this is the PID mode right so this is the output for all the three modes so from these outputs you need to just analyze so now to analyze these three graphs what I need is I need to calculate all the parameters that means uh, the observation table I need to prepare in that observation table it should be in tabular form in observation table suppose this is an observation table I am just giving one example here P, PI, PD and PID right and here this is the rows and here uh, across the columns there will be maximum peak overshoot, rise time, peak time, settling time, steady state error. These five parameters, right? These are transient and steady state behaviors. So for P mode, all these parameters I need to calculate from this output. For PI mode, this is the output. From here, I need to calculate all the five parameters and for PID mode, this is the output. I need to calculate for PID mode all the parameters from this car. So maybe it uh, will be a little difficult to find out the values or to calculate the values from this graph. So for that reason, one thing we can uh, do is just disconnect and plot one graph at a time. Suppose I have disconnected these two. Now run. This is for P mode. Now we can easily determine the transient and steady state parameters from this output of proportional controller. Right now we have to disconnect this one and just connect the output of PI mode. And calculate the same parameters for PI and then PID similar and PD I have not shown PD you can also uh, determine the values from this analysis for all the controller configuration or controller mode as the aim of this experiment is to uh, obtain the controller parameters by using ZN tuning method and to choose the best contro controller configuration as per your opinion or your analysis which controller configuration among these four uh, controller configurations which is P, PI, PD and PID which one is better and why from this analysis we can comment or conclude right depending upon the five parameters which are those transient and steady state parameters rise time peak time maximum peak overshoot settling time and steady state error from this table we need to just comment on that particular point and to choose the best control controller configuration for, for this process this first order process right so this is all about zn tuning method so you can practice by changing the transfer function and taking another process which is a first order and practice in the same manner or same way so this is all about zn tuning for first order plus dead time system thank you